Four years ago this week, Rick Reese, while visiting his wife's family in the Philippines, got up at 3 a.m. to watch President Donald Trump's inauguration. On Wednesday, January 20, Reese will be home in Temecula. But instead of watching President-elect Joe Biden swearing in, Reese might grab his don't tread on me flag and join fellow conservatives at an outdoor rally. With what's happening now, obviously I'm not happy about how things turned out, he said. I'm not in a depression though. I'm somewhat sad for our country. I hope and pray that maybe Biden sees the light and he gets some wisdom. Biden's inauguration brings a role reversal for Southern Californians who spent the past four years defending or fighting Trump. If there's a common thread this time around, it's unease, conservatives at the thought of Democrats controlling the White House and Congress, liberals at the prospect of more violence after the U.S. Capitol riot and the notion that Trump is a symptom and not the cause of what they've seen since 2016. This inauguration comes against a backdrop of heavy security, 25,000 National Guard troops are in the nation's capital, and deep division over the legitimacy of Biden's win which many Trump supporters reject despite no evidence of widespread voter fraud and court rulings, many from Republican judges dismissing legal challenges to state election results. While 60% of Americans overall trust the election's outcome, 78% of Republicans do not, according to a national public radio PBS NewsHour Marist poll conducted January 11 to 13. Melahat Rafi, an Orange resident, plan to watch the inauguration in person four years ago, when she thought Hillary Clinton would be president. The first Iranian-American elected to the Democratic National Committee, Rafi said she'd be at Biden's swearing-in if not for the coronavirus pandemic. With Biden, there will be a grown-up in charge, she said. You don't have to worry about an entire group of our citizens, LGBTQ, losing their rights. I don't think you'll ever see children put in cages under this administration. While she's relieved that Trump is gone, Rafi said she's not 100% relieved. The last five years, all of these racists have come out of the closet, that's what's so scary. At least before, they've been in hiding. The November election showed, it wasn't just a fluke that President Trump got into office, said Corey Jackson, political action chair of the Riverside NAACP. We found out that even more people after seeing what he has done, voted for him than before. That is devastating to those of us who have been victims of this rhetoric. April Wilson and her sister, Debbie Barles, both Riverside residents, planned to attend Clinton's inauguration. When Trump won, they still visited Washington, D.C., but to take part in the 2017 Women's March along with millions nationwide.